what's going on YouTube? So you want to be more productive and you want to find a balance. You want to know what time is best to wake up and be more productive. You want to know what time to get up so you can knock stuff out and start your day. Well, everyone's situation is different. Not everyone can wake up early and not everyone can stay up late. You got to kind of find that meeting. My name is Ty with, with xking.com with another productive video today. In today's video, we'll talk about what time should you wake up to be more productive. Now, let's put in some context behind that. In my situation, I have a one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old. He's 14 months. So it would be harder for me to get up at 6 because my alarm clock goes off. And if he wakes up, you know what time it is. Like, I'm not getting anything done. I'll be half asleep. He'll be cranky. It's not a good thing. My wife might wake up. It's not a good thing. So what I typically do is work at night. I work most now before I had my son, our son, I wake up six. I I wake up at six and on a Saturday from six to twelve, I will work. And after that, I have the whole day. I work six hours and I have the whole rest of the day to do whatever. And if I worked in the morning, I had to be at work at 7.30. I wake up at six and I'll leave here. My, I, I, work, I live 15 minutes away. I leave here at 7 15. So I wake up again at six. I have my clothes laid out the day before. I go ahead, wash up, whatever, brush my teeth, put my clothes on. Wife's still asleep. It's still dark outside. And I'm, I'm like working for an hour, then I'm going to work. I see now it's better to work at night for me. It's harder because A, you're tired, you're sleepy, your mind, body wore out. Two, you, two, you are sleepy. Three, you know, everyone's gone. I mean, it's, it's hard to do at nighttime. You work 40 hours a week. But for me, my wife goes to bed around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and my son goes to bed at 10, it's easier for me to work 11 to 1 in the morning. I have a three-hour, two, three-hour window right there to get stuff done. And I had that window every day. Now, some nights I don't do it. Some nights I have to get up extra early. Some nights I can't do it. So I try to do it about well, five nights out the week. I'll do it. But to wake up, depending on what time you go to work, wake up an hour early, depending on how far you live from your job. You live 30 minutes away and you got to be there at 7. So you do about 620. You got to give up at 5 o'clock. Give up at 5 o'clock. Have your clothes ready. Go ahead and put your clothes out for the next day. Go ahead and pack your lunch for the next day. Have it laid out for the next day. All you gotta do is wash up, take a shower, or you take a shower the night before, brush your teeth, put your clothes on. You can do that in like 15 minutes. So it's like 5, 15. You got an hour and 10 minutes to work on whatever you wanna work on, then go to work. And so, I, I, you see how it's harder to do it in the morning. If you work, if you work in the morning, you got to get up like four o'clock in the morning to get two hours in, then go to work. It, I think it's a little bit easier to work at nighttime because most of everyone sleep. You can start at 11 o'clock, go to bed at one and still get up at six, leave the house at 6.30, 6.20 to get to work. So it's kind of like you could do a little bit of both, but most times for me, I would typically get up, I would stay up late. So it depends on how my situation. If you're young, no kids, no wife, no spouse, no husband, nobody, you get up at four or five o'clock and work. But everybody's ways you can't do that. And I, I'm I can't get up that early, no way. I, I go to bed early, which I don't. If I go to bed at one o'clock, I can't get up at five. I could try to get up at five, but I'll be like half asleep. So that's it for the video. The best way to Wake up to be more productive. Everyone's situation is different. It depends on what time you get at work. If you plan ahead and get your clothes ready, pack your lunch, um, have, make sure you have gas in the car, make sure you know you guys didn't get to go to go in the morning, just get up, wash up, do your teeth, eat a little breakfast, put the clothes on, boom, you've done it 15, 20 minutes. You can work for an hour and then go to work. Come home from work, which you could do. You have no spouse or nobody at home. You got home. Let's get home at six. Well, maybe six to maybe six to nine, or six to eight. You work, do more work, and then maybe eight o'clock you take a break. Maybe eight o'clock you watch TV, you play the Xbox, watch do whatever, because you worked on your stuff every day. 
So you can do it that way. Me, I can't do that. When I get home, I'm cleaning up, doing dishes, doing dinner. Until my son comes home, then it's all him. So I rather he goes to sleep for me to do any work. Lately, I've been doing more work while he's up, when he's home, because he got to bang on my laptop all the time. And I sit in the kitchen, and I can see the dining room, and I can see some of the living room in here. So he'll be, you know, he'll be running through here, and my wife's cooking dinner. So I'm I'm sitting over here. I can't see. I'm sitting over here, and he's all through here. He's all a little bit in there. And I could just easily get up, see what he's doing, and sit back down. It's harder to do it, but I, I get some stuff done. So I've been doing that as well. So it depends on your situation, what you, you can do or can't do, what dictate what time you get up. But for me, it's late at night. On the weekends, definitely the weekends, I have to go to, get a, you know, go to bed at 1. I can go to I can work from 11 to 1 in the morning and then play the Xbox till like 1 to 3 in the morning. Everyone sleep so I can get some stuff work done and have some free time to myself. I get up about 10 o'clock. My son get up about 8, 9 o'clock anyway. I probably get up at 8, 9 or 10. Then the day does start again. So that's the end of my video. Please let me know how, what you feel about that, what you think about that. And um, like the video, share the video. I'll see you next time.